What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So today marks the day that we're going to get the highly anticipated unification undisputed showdown in women's boxing between Olympic two-time gold medalist, three-division world champion, undisputed in two separate weight classes, the fastest female or male to become a three-division world champion in the history of the sport of boxing. The quote, greatest woman of all time, Clarissa T-Rex Shields, who at one point in time was simultaneously the undisputed champion in two separate weight classes. She's 12 wins, no losses, no draws. Two wins by way of knockout, 27 years of age, 5'8", with a 68-inch arm reach. She's going to take on her biggest rival, the last woman to beat her, 10 years ago in the amateurs, Olympic gold medalist, world champion, British superstar boxer, Savannah Marshall. Savannah Marshall is also 12 wins, no loss and no draws, but Savannah Marshall has 10 wins by way of knockout. She's five foot 11 and a half with a 72 inch arm reach at 31 years of age. Now, they fought in the amateurs. Savannah Marshall bested Clarissa Shields in the amateurs. And in my opinion, if you actually go back and watch the fight, Savannah Marshall did not win the fight, but she got the nod. I thought Clarissa Shields' uh, points wasn't being counted. She was the aggressor. Uh, she was coming forward all day. Savannah Marshall was counterpunching, but Clarissa Shields was the aggressor. She was um, more active, and she was landing punches that wasn't being counted. But that was 10 years ago. Carissa Shields was 17. Savannah Marshall was 21 years of age. Uh, Savannah Marshall at five foot 11 and a half, nearly six feet tall. She has, you know, a four inch height advantage over Carissa Shields and a four inch arm reach advantage over Carissa Shields. Very herky jerky style. And obviously everybody points to the power. Seeing as though Savannah Marshall has 10 knockouts in 12 fights, uh, only two of her fights go in the distance. Okay. Uh, and that was her first fight as a professional against Sydney uh, LeBlanc, okay? And um, that was her fourth fight as a professional against Yanina Orozco, okay? Uh, which they had a combined record of eight wins, three losses, and one draw. And those are the two fights that she went the distance in, okay? But she hasn't fought the competition of Carissa Shields. Nonetheless, uh, Carissa Shields has two knockouts in her entire career but she's the better pure, skilled, technically sound, more versatile boxer. But everybody points to the loss in the amateurs. Savannah Marshall didn't hurt Carissa Shields in that fight. She was, wasn't was being aggressive. She was actually fighting pretty timid and fighting on the back foot. Carissa Shields was the aggressor. Now, Savannah Marshall with the herky-jerky style and the, um, the ability to counterpunch is what gets people, you know, uh, with her power to think that she can make Carissa Shields over aggressive and counter her and hurt him. Okay. Uh, nonetheless, um, Carissa Shields, you know, uh, faster hands, combinations. But you look at the, the resumes, okay. Savannah Marshall's first fight as a professional four wins, three losses, one draw against Sidney LeBlanc. Okay. She won a unanimous decision. Her second fight as a professional, she fought. Uh, one win, six losses, one draw. Uh, Esther Canencia, Canencia, okay? She got a TKO, second round knockout, right? So the, the fighter she fought combined eight wins, eight fights. Then she fought Alexandra Ayala, eight wins, two losses. She got a TKO against her. Then as I told you, she went the distance with Yanina Orozco, okay, who only had four professional fights. But here's where it gets tricky. In her fifth professional fight, she fought Claudia V who was three wins, 25 losses, and one draw. Now, she got a second-round knockout in a six-round fight. Now, previous, she had fought a 10-round fight, and she got a second-round knockout. She fought an eight-round fight and got a second-round knockout. And now she's fighting a six-round fight against a fighter with three wins, 25 losses, and a draw. She got a knockout, as she's supposed to. Then she fought Boslava uh, Garanova, Okay, who had a combined record of 11 wins, 55 losses, four draws. She got a first round knockout victory, another six round fight. Okay, um, 55 losses and four draws. Okay, so if you add that up, 
her last two opponents in this uh, equation had 14 wins, 80 losses, 80 losses, and five draws. Let me say it to y'all again. Her last two com two opponents had a combined record of 14 wins, 80 losses, and two draws. And she's supposed to get knockouts. Then she fought a fighter, Daniela Besteria, okay, who had a combined two fights total. This is Savannah Marshall's uh, um, seventh fight. Two fights total. She got the knockout. Then she fight as Leah Curry, who had a record of eight wins, 12 losses, and four draws. Okay? So now, just think about this. Uh, her last four opponents had a combined record, right, uh, of 24 wins, okay, 92 losses, and five draws. 24 wins, 92 losses, and five draws, right? She gets a, a three, third round knockout. Then she fights uh, uh, Hannah Rankin, very good fighter. She gets a seventh round knockout. Hannah Rankins with nine wins, four losses, and Carissa Shields beat her already. <laughs> then she fights Maria Lindenberg, 19 wins, six losses, two draws. She gets a third round knockout. Then she fights uh, Lolita uh, Musea, okay? 16 wins, no loss, no draws. She gets a second round knockout. Impressive. Uh, then she fights um, Hermans, okay, who Carissa Shields already beat. 12 wins, three losses. She gets a third round knockout. Now she's fighting Carissa Shields, okay? So you factor in four of her fights, okay? Her uh, um, um, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth fight, okay? Had a combined record of 24 wins, 92 losses, and five draws. That's the, the resume of Savannah Marshall, okay? So I'm explaining to you why I've come to the conclusion that I'm coming to, okay? And Carissa Shields' record. In her fifth fight as a professional, now she had already, she fought Sidney LeBlanc and she beat her by the time Savannah Marshall beat her. She beat undisputed world champion, superstar, Franchon Cruz Zone, who's undisputed currently right now. In her very first fight, she beat Sidney LeBlanc as well uh, Sabatas, she beat her as well. Okay, Nikki Adler, 16 wins, no loss, no draws. She beat her uh, via fifth round knockout. Then she beat uh, Tori Nelson, who was undefeated, 17 wins, no losses, three draws. She beat her by unanimous decision. Then she beat Hannah Gabriels, who was 18 wins, one loss, one draw. She beat her by unanimous decision. Then she fought uh, Hannah Rankin, uh, who was five and two at the time. She beat her by unanimous decision. Then she fought Hermans again, uh, nine wins, one loss. She beat her by unanimous decision. Then she fought the big doozy, which was the biggest fight at the time in women's boxing between her and Christina Hammer, who was 24 wins, no losses, no draws. She beat her by unanimous decision, outclassed her, and I had front row of the seats to see that. Then she beat Ivana Habazin, uh, who was 20 wins and three losses. She beat her by unanimous decision. Then she beat Maria Eve uh, DeCare, who was 17 wins, no losses, no draws. She beat her by unanimous decision. Then she fought uh, Emma Cozen, who was 21 wins, no losses, no one draw. And she beat her by unanimous decision. And she's fighting Savannah Marshall. So there, when you compare the resumes of Clarissa Shields and Savannah Marshall, okay, you can see why Savannah Marshall has uh, 10 knockouts, okay? Uh, because she, for her opponents that she knocked out, had a combined record of... Uh, 24 wins, 92 losses, and five draws. So, of course, when you compare those resumes, okay, you're going to see Savannah Marshall should get knockouts. And then uh, another opponent that she knocked out had a combined record of two fights total. Another fighter had four fights total. Okay, that's six opponents right there of her 10 knockouts, okay, that had a combined record, okay, of 30 wins, 92 losses, 30 wins, 92 losses, and five draws, okay, out of six knockouts. Well, you're supposed to knock out that level of opposition, period. They're made to order for you to look good against. So with that said, I think that Carissa Shields' skill set, I think that her ability to close the, distance, close the distance and close the gap, her ring IQ, her hand speed, her foot speed is going to get on the inside. Now, Savannah Marshall does have power. 
and she does have to respect it. She has long arms and herky-jerky style. But Clarissa Shields will get on the inside. She will outpoint Savannah Marshall, and they will make the right decision today. And Clarissa Shields is going to win a unanimous decision victory over Savannah Marshall today, okay? And uh, I'm expecting her to get her credit and her just dues for, for this victory that she's going to accumulate today because it's being built up as... Uh, somebody who beat Carissa Shields and has Carissa Shields' number. So when and Carissa Shields is going over to foreign land. She's going over once again, traveling to the UK. Now she's a two-time Olympic gold medalist, so she's used to traveling. She's going to go over to the UK and beat Savannah Marshall in her backyard, and it's going to look very similar to when she beat Christina Hammer. Okay, the difference is Savannah Marshall uh, is going to be there's going to be a lot more movement when Christina Hammer attempted to stand in the pocket at times against Carissa Shields. She was more stationary. Savannah Marshall is going to be more mobile, looking to move around the ring. But Carissa Shields is going to close the gap. She's going to uh, find Savannah Marshall. She's going to outpoint Savannah Marshall. She's going to uh, win in combinations and beat Savannah Marshall, point blank and period. Okay. So with that said, uh, Carissa Shields is going to win a unanimous decision victory over Savannah Marshall and become undisputed for a third time in her career. And when people say she's self-proclaimed as the GOAT, this is going to solidify her as the GOAT. She's a two-time Olympic gold medalist, a three-division world champion faster than any male or female in the history of sport of boxing. Uh, she's undisputed three separate times. This is, going to, um, this is going to anoint her without her saying that she's the GOAT. This is going to anoint her the GOAT, greatest woman of all time, period. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.